you have entered the Chronix rabbit hole. And Matt, thank you so much for your Patreon membership request and for bringing Lord of the Lost back down the rabbit hole for us. Thank you so much. I am so excited to get back to this amazing band. And I love songs that are anti-trolls. And this one looks exactly like it. The song name is Leave Your Hate in the Comments. This is from their album Blood and Glitter from 2022. And hopefully this is a very brilliant tune. Thank you everyone so much for being here. And like the song says, leave your hate in the comments. Chris Harms and the boys from Lord of the Lost, if you are watching, keep up the amazing work. Can't wait to see this new song. Chronicans, Matt, thank you so much again for this request. I even got the kitty down here ready for this. They know it's Lord of the Lost time. Here we go. Attack all yours! Wait. Attack onions is what it said? No. I need to take that off. Because I did not hear attack onions. Attack all of y'all! <laughs> I heard fuck all of y'all. <laughs> did it actually say attack onions? Is that what it's... Is this a double... I don't even understand what's going on here. That this, Oh my god. The geniuses they all are. Oh god, this is funky and great. Oh god, this is why we love Lord of the Lost, isn't it? This is everything you love about them. Is that? Leave your hate in the comments. Send your hate in the cloud. Is that feeling? First of all, this is so much. I thought it even has passed farther than a minute 13. There's so much that goes on from the beginning. It's so colorful. And they give you this tone of like not having to take it so seriously, but then you get forced to take them seriously because of how incredible it sounds, how professional they are. You can just see the creative juice is just oozing out of every band member in this. And that's what I just love about Lord of the Lost and... I'm, I haven't even been able to focus on the actual lyrics itself just because of how great the music even is too. So I, I'm gonna try to even focus a little bit more on the actual lyrics itself because Chris is sounding phenomenal on this. I love this. Showing all the trolls. Everyone's portraying one of those like archetypes of a troll, you know? I love it. Oh. Wait, I need to hear that one again because I literally just <laughs> Chris starts talking about trolling specifically. Trolling will bait on your highway to hate. Wow, that is incredible. And who is loving that kind of, that DJ little scratching of the disc that you can hear there? It almost sounds like a little bit of Linkin Park in there. And I love my Linkin Park, you know. You found your meaning in life. Incredible keyboardist, I must say. Incredible. 
incredible. Oh, I wish I could see them live. <laughs> this is an incredible match. Oh, I love the sins like feeling too that they're giving you. I couldn't think what game it was until that view. The fourth, you know, third eyes view. Wow, they are doing this so good. I haven't even. Also, let's just take a second. If, if you haven't even noticed, and like I did notice, but I really haven't seen what they're saying here. Like even just one of the lines that are crossing on the top and bottom. It's like, what is this? Left wing extremist shit. Fuck, you're not true. You are too happy. And like, they, it, it just keeps going on, right? And that's just the main point I'm saying here. Because there's so much to take in as a reaction for this. Because the music's incredible. The visual stunning. There's literally subliminal messages going everywhere. They're they're transitioning between different even like realms, you know, like because you're in like Sims at one point, then you're like here on the other time. And it's just this is such a good performance from top notch. What an incredible official video, too. Oh my god, yes! I thought... No! World of More hot pockets! Oh, I'm so glad they just did that. So far, reference. One more time, right at the end. I heard that. Oh my god, that brings you back, doesn't it? Look at this screen. Oh my god. Take me back to the early 2000s. Wow. Incredible. Wow. Just stunning. And it was recorded at the Sonic Pump Studios. And a few other studios there. Wow. This is your moment. This is your life. This is your stage. Leave your hate in the comments. Hey, Home Records and Lord of the Lost. Wow, that was incredible. Um, that's what makes them a genre list, but defining as in good music. The genre of good music is what Lord of the Lost is, and art is what they do best. And... They, they're able to blend so many eras into that. That's also what kind of like you feel because when they were impersonating all these different archetypes of these trolls, a lot of these troll archetypes are kind of like different age groups as well, I would say, that kind of like cater towards a certain type of archetype, obviously. And because of that, they're able to make music because it's so good and such like a rocky metal feel to it that it can go to genres because of the visuals, the the message is trying to get across, the music itself. Um, it's just so visually stunning too as well. That's that's something, just the colors that the Lord of the Lost has, they use the full spectrum. And that's really why they, they bring out everything out of you because they're trying to get every single sense at the heightened 
with their performances and they they manage to do it because it becomes there's so much emotions that get evoked when you're listening to when chris is starting to to sing honestly like you could hear me starting to hum at the end there and you just want to sing with him because he he literally soars you in in your soul and this type of a song um, really hits me deeply because before YouTube, I really didn't have the experience of having hate comments because at least the only social media I was doing before this was with my friends on like Facebook. And to be honest, that was going okay. Um, I've gotten hate for, let's say, my my faith in God, and that's the, about it. But that's like something you kind of like assume is going to happen, so whatever. But the real hate that I wasn't really expecting was coming onto a reaction channel and some of the hate that individual artists would get um, and reactors themselves and like how you do it and everyone wants you to cater to to them. Well, a lot of people do, um, but that's what makes Lord of the Lost um, fans and the band itself so unique is they're so welcoming to everyone. Um, and their music is just so damn good. Like, I can't just say that enough. Everyone's firing, like the drummer, the guitarist, the, 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 the keyboardists themselves too. And I need to get familiar with the names for the other members there. Um, which I definitely got to do. So please let me know all the names again in the comments below to give credit to where credit is due with another incredible performance. Remember to leave your hate in the comments or your love if you want to change it up because even if there's trends, y'all, you can change it anytime you want. I remember there was one time a trend where it was called neck nominations and people were drinking alcohol and then passing it on to three other people. And then... It kind of kept getting more intense and tense on the train of the trail of that game where by the time it got to the fourth person, they're trying to drink to make it look more intense than the other person. And then a lot of people were having bad times, some even fatal. So I remember when my turn came in the small town I was and the pressure you kind of feel when your name got picked. And then I remember I just downed like a liter of uh, apple juice and I'm like, I got to go to work, y'all. I can't do, I can't drink. I got to have apple juice. But then everyone was so happy because then it's like, thanks for not having to pass it again. And then it just literally killed the, tra the train. And then it, you stopped a bad negative thing that came out. And that's, I think, what uh, people get exposed when they leave their hate because you just get to see really their, their true selves. And a lot of the times, trolls are a reflection of where a lot of people are, are at too. There's a lot of people just upset. And you can see it. So that's why you have music like this to help get it out um, in such a creative way like they always do. And Matt, like you said, this is an incredible pick from Lord of the Lost and uh, probably a hidden gem. Or is this one of their best songs? It sure feels like that every time you listen to Lord of the Lost, it's like it's another favorite song from them, isn't it? Anyways, I hope you all had a good time. Please go to Lord of the Lost's page as well and to Napalm Records to give them all some love and support. And if you are new to this channel and still here somehow and had a good time please hit that subscribe on your way out it would be much appreciated we are now exiting the rabbit hole folks peace and love god bless y'all